Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. It's time for another lovely tea TV shout out. So I wanna go ahead and shout out one of my tea sippers. Her name is Lakeisha, and she told me how she's making money off of this website called zblackcard.com. So if you guys are interested in making some money off of this website, it's a prepaid debit system, and basically it comes with a trade line. If you would like more information on how you two can get involved, the information will be pinned down below. Make sure you guys check it out. So if you guys don't know, the barbs are currently in their fillings. So now it's been a bunch of drama between Meat Mill and Nicki Minaj. It's messy as hell, but I'm here for it, bitch. So anyways, what's going down is this. So as we all know, Meat Mill got out of jail um, a few weeks ago, so now he's been on a media blitz. So recently he sat down with the Breakfast Club, and during the Breakfast Club, they asked him about the whole issue with him and the judge. Her name is Janice Brinkley, and basically Charlamagne was asking, you know, did she really ask you to do a remix of the song, you know, I'm Bended Knee, Boys to Men? And Meat Mill said, yeah, she really asked me to do that, and there was a witness there. And then Charlemagne says, well, that witness was Nicki Minaj, wasn't it? And he says, yes. At that point, DJ Empty, and at that point, DJ Empty decides, to, <laughs> I caught his ass, DJ Empty. Yeah, he does come off as empty some damn times, okay? DJ Envy, that's his damn name. At that point in time, DJ Envy decides to chime in. DJ Envy basically insinuated that Nicki Minaj didn't have his back and that she was blasting him in her Beats 1 interview. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this Breakfast Club interview really quick. Check out this snippet and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. The makeup, like who, like, who makes stuff up like that? <laughs> right. Just, like, yo, uh... Envy took me in the back and asked me to redo uh, Michael Jackson's song over, and I'm just like, well, and, uh, like, why would I make that up? It's right. not, it's, it is what it is. Did you think about and it one time? It like, actually, maybe I should do this. It actually was somebody else there. They said they don't want to involve themselves in it, but you know, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, she but, definitely was there. But how did that make you feel? Because I seen the interview, and I'm like, why would she say the? the, the... I wasn't feeling that. She shouldn't have said nothing. Right. And we leave it at that. I don't feel no way. You know I wasn't feeling that. Anybody know. When it kind of freedom and stuff like that, I don't care who it is. And this don't got nothing to do. I don't care who it is. This could be Safari. This could be anybody. If I know something and that man freedom on the line and I could say something that to help the situation and I, it's right or wrong. It's, mm -hmm. it's just this and that. I'm going to say it. I don't really care. If I don't say it, I just won't say nothing. Right. All right, so you guys just saw that Meek Mill interview on The Breakfast Club. So like I said, I even spoke about this when I did my review of Nicki Minaj's interview with Beats One. And in that review, I even said that I liked the fact that Nicki Minaj did not bash that black female judge. And she basically said that the judge did everything that you know that she could do. Go ahead and check out this flashback right here. And she did a really in-depth interview and I really enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed her interview. She talked about a lot of stuff. She talked about the whole meat mill situation, how she would go with him to court. She told folks not to blame the judge. She talked about how close she was with his mom. She talked about how she felt when, you know, Drake and meat mill were beefing. She talked about a lot of stuff. Well, I don't, I don't want to talk about legal things, but I will say that, you know, every now and then I think about, anyway, I won't go there. I'll save some of those things for my album, and I'm also shooting a documentary. But um, I will say that um, the judge in question was um, did everything did everything I asked of her, and get, you know, so I can't badmouth her because I met her personally, and I know what she said to us, and he knows that, and I know that, and. You know, but of course, I wouldn't wish that, wouldn't wish jail on anybody. Yeah. But, like I said, I'll get into detail on that on, you know, on, on in the documentary and possibly on the album. But um, what I will say is what made me shed tears the other day was his, his seeing his mother cry. Seeing his mother crying made me, like, that was the first time I was like, oh, my God, like, I can't take it. Like, because she, during the relationship, was always so sweet to me and um even at the end when it was when we kind of both knew that it was like you know too rocky too too uh, too bad to you know she she always always just showed me so love so much love so i still you know i still care about her all right, so you guys just saw that flashback of Nicki Minaj talking about the judge and then me also chiming in about the situation. So when they posted that clip of Meek Mill talking about her on the shade room, her barbs went in. 
They had her back. And Nicki Minaj even responded to one of her bars by saying, God bless you. A lot of people are just tired of black women being thrown under the bus. You know what I'm saying? That you can be here for a man and support him and everything else. And not everything's being twisted to make Nicki look like the bad guy. So go ahead and try out these comments, these tweets, and what the barbs had to say. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, honey. So you guys just saw all the comments, the tweets, and what people had to say. So my thing is this. I honestly initially thought that when Nicki Minaj was saying that there was this, you know, Nicki Minaj hate train, you know, going on, I thought she was over-exaggerating. I thought, okay, once again, Nicki's in her damn feelings. But now I'm starting to see it. You know what I'm saying? I'm starting to see this whole Nicki Minaj hate train, you know, choot, choot, all aboard the Nicki Minaj hate train express. I'm starting to see it. You know what I'm saying? Because DJ Envy, before you speak on something, make sure you have your facts right. What you stated on The Breakfast Club versus what Nicki Minaj stated in her interview are two totally different things. She did not throw Meek Mill under the bus, okay? She's had this man's back from day one. Not only did her ass write letters to President Obama trying to get him off of probation, she also went to several hearings. She testified on his behalf. But my thing is, where's the personal responsibility, Meek, okay? We all love you. We want to see you do great things we want you to be a voice for the voiceless in this whole prison reform situation we want you to be that voice but what you're not going to do is put everything on Nicki Minaj okay because Nicki Minaj actually had his back she went to bat for him several times but at what point in time do you as a human being get tired of going to bat for somebody when they're not even appreciating their own damn freedom okay let's not forget that it was Meek Mill who's getting himself in trouble he was the one running the streets. Remember, he tried to jump safari. He was involved in that fuckery. And then the whole situation in New York with him popping wheelies and everything else. And then him leaving town and not telling his PO. There was a lot of things that got Meek Mill re-arrested. And he's not addressing those issues, but you are addressing Nicki Minaj. And I don't agree with that. And this is why, young ladies, you should think twice about who you date. So many females get caught up in that whole thug mentality. My man's a thug. I'm going to be a ride or die chick. Nicki feels like she left the cornball for somebody with more street credibility well yeah that's cool but these are some of the consequences when you go to deal with somebody with so-called street cred this is some of the things that happen while she's trying to be his ride or die chick and go to court and you know have his back because she feels like you know safari's a cornball and she's kind of over him now look how quick this dude is to throw her under the bus 
you know, this entire situation is crazy and I'm starting to believe her when she said that there's some type of hate train against her. So this entire situation to me is crazy, but I definitely understand Nikki for being hurt and being upset by what he said because they definitely twisted her words on The Breakfast Club. That's not what Nicki Minaj said. Nicki Minaj never threw Meat Mill under the bus. If anything, she stood by his side and went to bat for him. And then now that he's out, he's keeping her name in his mouth and now he's throwing her under the bus as well. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know thoughts on this entire crazy situation with Meat Mill and the barbs going after him because of what he said about Nicki Minaj on the Breakfast Club interview and do believe that there's a Nicki Minaj hate train you know what I'm saying that everybody's trying to throw her under the bus maybe because you know Cardi B's out here and she's popping or maybe because people are tired of Nicki Minaj's you know attitude towards the industry I don't know but it does seem like a lot of big name people in the industry are definitely not feeling her like they once were and that they're kind of using this occasion to kind of kick her while she's down so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces <laughs> hey you guys it's your girl t and i hope you really enjoyed that video if you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals definitely feel free to click my description box there's plenty of information in there please stay tuned for the next video talk to y'all later